Hello everybody and welcome back to the Banner Saga Let's Play. I'm your host, Saigon. There we go. <laughs> Could not get the video to come up. Let's jump back into it. We're still on the road. We're playing as the Varl now. We have word that... Wow, what is going on? It should not be here. Well, I guess you're just going to have to miss some of uh, what happened due to some recording issues. Oh well, uh, you've missed like five minutes. Uh, one of the Varl, the Varl that I got into a fight with earlier, has asked to be a member of my personal guard. Um, I told him he has one shot at it, because I'm being kind of the gruff, hard-ass, strong commander type. Um, scouts have discovered that there's a village that is absolutely just filled with dredge. And we're trying to get more information on it. We've, uh, we've gotten closer to the village now. You're close enough to hear the dredge rattling through the buildings below. The village seems to slither. Pull them out of the houses, Mugger suggests. Slide can't resist an ambush. We'll have better luck in an open field. Um, take the fight to them. I don't like this. We'll skirt the village. I kind of prefer that. You heard him, says Mugger to the rest of the caravan. We're going around. It takes the better part of a day, but you manage to avoid drawing attention to yourself. Oh, I thought that was the option to get into a fight with them. Oh, no! Go back! <laughs> you hear a shout echo on the wind, a standard Varl greeting. A caravan of Varl are headed your direction, probably a few hundred in total. You meet them halfway. Fossil. You must be with Wagner. Was. Wagner didn't make it. You're serious? It's getting grim out here, but didn't expect that. Well, yeah, Wagner was kind of a badass. Flying the Schlid banner, what's happening? Isn't Ulof in charge there? I'm Fossolt. Ulof's still in Schlid, in case he needs to be. He sent me to meet Wagner. Well, you. We've seen nothing happening in Schlid yet. What do you mean? No dredge. They never came through Schlid. They're all pouring out of Ridgehorn. We only just found out about it. One group went that way. We came here. Ridgehorn, the fort on the bay, that place has been abandoned for hundreds of years. Maybe that's why they're there. Looks like another damned invasion. Luden forces his way into the conversation. Because that's what Luden does. What did you do? Yeah, careful. You be careful. What did you start? You think men don't remember history? The long banner hangs in Arborong. The Second Great War nearly screwed us all. What did you do this time? <laughs> Who the fade is this? This is the Prince of Men. I'm sorry, Fasolt. Take him and go to Grofheim. We'll meet you later. Shut your mouth, Luden, or I'll smash your face in. <laughs> Luden's head swivels in your direction, eyes wide. He seems uncertain whether to be insulted or threatened. A little bit of both. What orders did Ulfar give you, Fasolt? I'm supposed to offer any support you need. I've got 330 Varl behind me, and Ulfar wants to know what's happening at Ridgehorn. What's your plan? We're going to Ridgehorn. You're coming. We're going to Ridgehorn. You take Luden and go to Grofheim. Forget Ridgehorn. We need to go to Grofheim. So, this is my opportunity to kind of ditch Luden. Which, uh, the original mission was to get Luden to Grofheim. But Ridgehorn seems really important if it's filled to the brim with dredge. I would not complain about having 300 more Varl. So, let's all go together. I'll have my Varl fall in line. Yours to command, Hakon. Thanks, Fasolt. 
I heard him, Luden. That's why we're going to the fort. Luden shuts up for a minute. You can see the battle raging in his head. He looks desperate for safety, but he didn't expect to flee like a coward. He expected you to come along. He glances at his men. We're already this far. If this is the Varl's doing, I'll know of it, and so will my father. Besides, you need my help and my fighters. If I go, so do Irsa and Bersi. I will not say no to that. I like having Irsa and Bersi around. Although, I, no, I haven't gotten to use Bersi yet. Luden's unexpected flip-flop catches you like a swift kick to the shins. Mogur can't contain a chuckle. <laughs> the prince has courage! <laughs> I'd rather you're safely in Grofheim. Do whatever you like. Knock him out cold and send him away. Do whatever you like, Luden. Let's, uh, let's give him a chance. Paint me the villain, Hakan. What do I care? I'm sick of you being the only one to do as he pleases in this alliance. These are Varl lands. We're facing an, an army of dredge. How much experience do you have in these matters? Well, he's killed like three. Mankind has never provoked them into a war. You're going for a third. Is taunting the dredge into genocide a game for your kind? Hmm. Do I want to be the bigger man or do I want to swat this child? Oh my god. We're gonna lose fighters if I do this. Good fighters. But I can't lose the respect of the army that expects to follow me. Shit. Before anyone expected it, you lay an open palm the size of a serving tray across the prince's face. He falls to the ground flattened, doesn't move. Take him to Grofheim. We lost 45 fighters, but we gained 300 Varl, so I'll take that trade. I'll send a few warriors with him. Hold on, this is the Prince of Min. We can't just leave him with some random Varl in hopes he makes it. What's the point of all his damn bodyguards? Listen, I wasn't sent here to babysit a human. These warriors are for Vognir, well, for Hakon. If I merrily run back to Schlid, Ulfar is going to have my head on a pike. Don't try to tell me otherwise. Irsa and Beresi should be able to handle it. Just pray that nothing happens to him. They should be able to. I know it won't be easy to explain, but I couldn't just walk away from this. <laughs> 50 supplies, which will... not last us terribly long, given the number of Varl that we have. The hike approaching the God's Stone is murder. You recall how most God Stones were built on hills overlooking other God Stones so that travelers could follow them and find their way between cities. It does nothing to ease your pains. Dredge! Shouts Mogur near the front of the caravan. Suddenly black rocks are whizzing past your head. What the hell is this, you shout? Mogur shakes his head. A stone slams into the shield of a nearby Varl, exploding in a flash of light and razor-sharp fragments. Get behind the shield, bangers, shouts Mugger as you approach for a fight. They have grenades? Seriously? Dredge line the battlefield. Weapons drawn. A fight seems inevitable. You take a quick head count. There must be at least 746 of them. You have 137 fighters and 757 Varl at your side. We outnumber them by Varl alone. And a single Varl can handle like three to four of these guys. Even from here, you can see nervous glances amongst the enemy's ranks. This looks like a good chance to press your advantage. The hell is over C? Yeah, charge. Taking your trusted allies, leading them into the charge, battering down the enemy will throw you into the thick of battle where fighting is most dangerous, but a strong charge can save lives. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Get into that combat. Okay. So, well, you know, we lost some guys, but that's that's okay. Because now we just have so, so many Varl. Mogur's a shield banger. I'm not sure what Gris and Fossolt are. Uh, we're going to put Ganolf last. 
and Irix second to last. I know Hakan's not a shield banger. I'm expecting either Gris or Fasolt will be, so I kind of want them up front as far as turn order is concerned. Oh, somebody in chat is explaining what oversee means for this. Supervise. Okay, that that's the men that's their meaning of it. Thank you, Leot Loss. I wasn't sure if they had some like alternate strategic type meaning for the word. A synonym, if you will. Or no, that's not a Synonym. God damn it. I can't talk today. I can't focus. Excuse me, everybody, for my poor command of the English language. All right, so these are the sling throwers. Those are the guys who've been throwing the freaking rocks. Big dude sucks. All these ranged guys are going to agitate the crap out of me. Um, now, what we could do is we could just rush... Actually, you know what? There's not really much planning to do right here. So let's just go straight to ready. We've got our shield bangers center, which is exactly where they need to be. Well, let's um, let's split them up a little bit, actually. Oh, can we not? We cannot. Okay, let's just go for it. Um. One shield banger should be enough against both of these ranged guys, I want to believe. So let's have him go distract those two, and we're going to need pretty much everyone else taking down the big guy and uh, this small army of dredge. Who goes next? You go next? That's good. We can spend the willpower to get to him and start chopping him down. Let's do it. He's got four willpower. We're good. <laughs> what does Malice do? Taunt one adjacent unit, causing them to attack you on their next turn. That's fine, actually, but we don't really need it right now. That'll be useful for uh, other fights. Definitely. Let's bring his power down. Minimize incoming damage. Don't really have to break his armor at this point. Move Hakan up. Hakan and uh, Gufnir? What's his name? Ganolf. I'm going to continue, continue getting his name wrong. Uh, are really, really good at finishing off fights. But I definitely want the shield bangers taking the brunt of the damage. Um, you're already wounded. You can seriously get around. I'm still not too worried about those two on the left. I kind of want to just get into the thick of things. It'll be a while until the big guy moves. Okay, let's have you... That'll do. Why are they running? Like, they haven't actually attacked yet. That has me more nervous than anything else. Ganolf, move you up. Ouch. Actually, okay, well, let's bring Dennis. We'll be able to finish him off pretty fast next time. <laughs> sure. Hit your own guys just as much as you hit me. 
I am okay with that. Can we not get around to the big guy? We cannot get around to the big guy. How much do we have? Four? Yeah, okay. Let's just finish this one off right now. What are the dredge waiting for? It's so weird. Yikes. Start breaking that armor. That 19 armor. Sundering impact. Hundred percent to hit. Strength, break to target. Strength, break to heavy impact. Let's go for it. Bam. Oh, there's this sling. Okay. They are fighting us now. So there's that. Can only deal one damage. Has your strength really taken that much of a hit? Yes, it has. Let's get you out of combat for a bit. Oh, it's Christmas time! It's Christmas time for Ganulf! Oh, I was referring to my old, uh, my own shield bangers. See, Melgar's got shield, uh, as do the two new guys. Do I want? Yeah. Just bringing that armor down. I'm like, I'm waiting for something horrible to happen with these guys, but I think that I just... I think they're outclassed right now. Keep bringing that armor down. And that willpower. I totally have a bunch on my horn, too. Ow! Man, he's totally getting picked on. Who goes next? You? Ah. Okay, well. We're not going to get away from you, so let's at least try and minimize some of that incoming damage. Oh, no, not going to work. Um, um, where are we at? We're at four? Well, he won't be able to kill, so let's... Let's finish breaking that armor. Oh, hey. Oh, nope. Nope. Okay, worth it. Everything's going to be fine. You... Are about to get rocked, sir. Fear Gunolf! Finish that one off, or I can finish weakening this guy. And let's finish this guy off.
Man, they really want to kill him. He's fine. Yes, chat, I'm really sorry. Twitch is being hilariously laggy today by like a good 60 to 90 seconds. You take a moment to survey the battlefield. The enemy is being pushed back all the way down the line. You could take this opportunity to pull back and leave combat immediately. On the other hand, chasing down a few more dredge would rally your fighters and save a few lives. You won't have time to rest or change your party, but a chance to loot your enemies might even reveal items they took from previous victims. I'm mostly okay... Like, Eirik is being kind of... He's pretty wounded. He only has one health left. And he'll get picked off pretty fast. He'd probably have plenty of time to rest, though. And we'll kill a few more. You attack any dredge still brave enough to face you. Oh, good. Eirik is still... Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> Eric is not safe. Let's try making our way over to him. See if we can get him behind the Varl. <laughs> Go hide, Eric. Ooh, ooh, aimed at Hakan. Okay, it's alright. It's alright, we're okay. We're okay. You're dead. Because Gnolf is a unstoppable force. What is your strength at right now, dude? Ogre? Oh, you're 10 right now? Yeah, let's just... Armor break. We're still safe enough to do this carefully. Ten strength, but only four armor. So we kind of have to bring his attack power down at this point. Ew, Fossil, your attack sucks, man. It's okay. It's okay. It's not terrible. I've seen worse. <laughs> rest. Oh, Jesus. So we lost one. Not who I was expecting to, though. <laughs> Go assist up there. Actually, no. Right here. Right here is good. Do 
we not have... Oh, we don't have any... We don't have willpower. That's fine. It'll just take two turns. Whatever. In the meantime, he won't be dangerous. Moger's handling things quite well. Actually, Eirik? No. 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 Cancel everything. Keep resting. Just stay out of combat, dude. It's not worth it right now. threat anymore, so let's go over here. What's up, guys? What's up, gents? Actually, wait, can I go back? Nope, too late. Man, Moger is getting rocked right now. That sucks so much. Shit. Shit. Is totally going to die right now. Can I give him two? I can give him two. Ah, oh, I only have one exhaust on him. God damn it. Run? Try and run? You're probably going to die, but try and run. Yeah. <laughs> Things that do not surprise me right now. Chris is here, though. Chris will finish it up. No, do not end turn. Attack. Gnolf is going to have a field day with you. Guy, how's it going? I really need to use my willpower horn more. I kind of keep forgetting about it.
Ah, crap. It's alright. It was worth it. They'll get better in a couple of days. Shit, just keep resting, I guess. There's like nothing for you to do right now. Well, I cut it close. This might have been a poor decision. Eric, you're alive. <laughs> Good thing this was not old school Fire Emblem. Actually, if this was old school Fire Emblem, I probably wouldn't have uh, jumped in for cleanup. Only lost two fighters and 13 Varl, taking out 700 Dredge. I think that's worth it. Oh, that fat renown bonus. That is beautiful. I think this went okay. I mean, I've got, you know, some injuries, but whatevs. What in the depths are these, you wonder, looking at the unusual dredge slingers? Nobody knows. Without warning, a deranged and half-dead slag stumbles out of the brush, throwing itself upon the yawks attached to the treasure cart. Surprised Varl pull weapons, but, do n but not before the whole cart slides off slick rock in a sheer drop, stopped suddenly by a low growl. The enormous metal wagon dangles precariously off a cliff. From the end swings a confused yawk still tied to its reins. On top, the dredge hangs on tight, keeping the whole thing from plummeting over the side as Gnulf. One hand white-knuckling the cart, the other wrapped around a tree trunk. This is just treasure, right? I don't want to lose Gnulf. Ah, my duty, he grunts. He doesn't budge. You run, we wonder how much this responsibility defines his reason for living. The dredge has found some footing and is trying to clamber up over the cart. The tree creaks under the weight. Knock the dredge off. You come up with a fist-sized stone. It bounces off the dredge's hard armor with a thunk. Just as Ubin appears, huffing, the tree creaks under Gnulf's grip and pulls from the ground. The whole collection of things suddenly disappears from sight. No! The cart plummets and flips over rocks along the way, tossing its contents along the snow in a shower of gold and gore. The ox and dredge are torn to shreds. Gnulf lies motionless. Fuck! I cannot make a single good decision in this damn game. <sighs> Following the shock of Gnulf's death, you find yourself wondering why that dredge went after the ox in the first place. Then you realize the bigger problem is that is the vast fortune now laying at the bottom of the cliff. Try to recover Gnulf's body. <sighs> Lure a man by rope into the valley. He shouts that the combined body of Gnulf is definitely... The battered body of Gnulf is definitely dead. With their combined weight, the rope won't hold. The gold is scattered across the rocks and f too far to reach anyway. You face the fact that it has been a complete loss. A day after, you're back on the march with nothing to show for it. Fuck! 
God damn it. I tried helping. I tried knocking the dredge off. It was a stupid decision. It's the same way that Eagle died earlier. This game. Yes, I know I should have helped. Everybody's heckling me. The car caravan stops, Godstone looming overhead for a short rest. The warriors are glad for it, and the stone gives you an ancient sense of being watched over in a comforting way. Didn't help the bodies underneath it, though. The earth at the base of the Godstone is scarred like a struggle occurred. Merchants. No dredge. Encircling Dengler are a variety of goods, a barrel of mead, who knows how old, loose silver, a statue made of soapstone, offerings to a dead god. Leave the dead and their offerings alone. Leave the offerings, but check for the merchant's brother. Oh, that's right, that quest. In the midst of a pile of bodies, a glitter catches your eye. You fish a gold necklace out from a jerkin and find five golden rings strung on it. Merchant's brother. Guess he didn't make it, you mutter. Take the necklace with intent to return it. You toss the necklace to Mogar and tell him to hang on to it. If anyone can be trusted, it's him. Don't know what made them think the Godstone would be safe, Mogar grunts. We're completely exposed up here. If we're going to rest, I think we ought to do it a little further away. Examine the Godstone. Dengler was always one of the favorites amongst men. God of good fortune. They believed he brought luck, wealth, or whatever else you wish you had, you couldn't get on your own. The word fortune has a lot of meanings. Eventually, you move on. That seems like a good spot for a break. We gotta check on our heroes, see how they're doing. Yeah, okay, they're all better now. God damn it. Actually, wait, there are promotions to... No, there aren't promotions to give out because Gnolf is dead. Fuck. Oh, Gris can move. Strong arm. Okay. <laughs> that shield break. Man, that sucks. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. I'm going to take a quick break here. I will be back shortly for those watching on YouTube. Thanks for watching the Banner Saga Let's Play. I'm your host, Saigon, and I will see you guys next time.